Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you a smart and super easy method for all people who want to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but their devices don't meet the Windows 11 requirements, like TPM, Secure Boot, and other checks. So today we've got a brilliant and very simple trick that lets you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any of your files, data, or programs. Everything you had on Windows 10 will stay exactly the same on Windows 11. And even better, you'll still receive official Windows 11 updates normally without any issues. Before we start, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell, and if you like the video, support us with a like. Let's jump into the easy method together. First thing you'll need is the Windows 11 ISO file. We're going to download it from the official Microsoft website. I've left the download link in the description box. Once you click it, it will open the page like this. Choose Windows 11 ISO, then select Windows 11, then press download. After that, choose your edition depending on your region, Arabic, English, French. I'll choose English here and press confirm. Then click 64-bit download and it will start downloading. Now, just to be clear, the device I'm using right now does not support Windows 11 requirements at all. So let's test the method together. This is the Windows 11 ISO I just downloaded. Double click it, press yes, and then next. As you can see, it shows the message that my device doesn't meet Windows 11 requirements. It says I have a TPM issue. For you, it might show CPU, RAM, or storage. Whatever it shows, this method will bypass all of them. Before the next step, something important. My system right now is Windows 10 Pro, which means after the upgrade, I'll get Windows 11 Pro. If you have Windows 10 Home, then you'll get Windows 11 Home. Everything stays the same as your current edition. Now let's continue. Open the ISO again, double click it, then move it to side. Now open this PC, go to local disk, C, Create a new folder and name it Win11. Make sure the name is simple, all lowercase and 11 at the end. Now go back to the Windows 11 files. Copy everything inside the ISO, then paste it into the Win11 folder. After everything copies, you can close the ISO. We don't need it anymore. Next step is very important. Go to the search bar and type CMD. Run command prompt as administrator. Now type this command. C backslash win 11 backslash setup dot x slash product server. You'll find the command in the description as well. Once you press enter, you'll see Windows Installer open. Click next. Accept the agreement. And now you'll notice something important. The Windows 11 requirements check is completely gone. Now focus on the three options. The first one keeps everything your files, settings, and programs. The second one keeps only your files but removes programs and settings. The third one removes everything, full clean installation. We'll choose the first option, keep personal files and apps because we only want to upgrade to Windows 11. Then press next. It will check for updates. then show you the final confirmation screen. You're installing Windows 11 Pro and your files, settings, and apps will stay exactly the same. If you want to change anything, you can press change what to keep, but I'll keep it as it is and press install. Now it will start installing. This part takes some time, so let it finish. 
your PC will restart several times. And when it completes, Windows 11 will boot normally. As you can see now, the device is running Windows 11, and all my program settings and files are still here. Nothing got deleted. And the best part is, if you go to Settings, Windows Update and check for updates, you'll see that Windows 11 updates arrive normally without any issues. So this is a very easy and powerful method that lets you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing anything, and everything works perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to support us with a like. Thanks for watching.